free education a complete dav solution station and development first i will explain the lesson briefly so all of you listen carefully then we will do the exercises of this lesson so let's start all the things on the earth necessary for our existence are resources for example soil minerals vegetation wildlife etc human beings are also considered as a resource because it is only with the help of human skill that the other resources can be developed utility and value of a resource varies from time to time and place to place resources become usable when they are processed in several ways utilization of resources depends upon various factors such as availability of resources skill of human beings availability of capital advancement of technology availability of transport and communication facilities availability of water etc earlier availability of resources played a very important role but nowadays availability of capital and skilled labor have become necessary for the utilization of resources classification of resources classification of resources is done on the basis of a renewability b origin c occurrence d development renewable resources can be renewed either naturally or by human efforts solar energy water and air come under this category however the quality of these resources can be affected by improper usage non renewable resources cannot be renewed coal petroleum etc come under this category since these resources are limited on the earth's surface we should be careful about their usage the biotic resources provide a variety of useful products for example birds animals fish etc all biotic resources are renewable all non living resources such as land water etc i biotic resources these are not renewable except water which is inexhaustible resources available from nature in the form of water minerals forests etc and used by human beings are natural resources roads buildings machines etc are man made resources these resources are developed from natural resources human resources is determined by the quality and the quantity of people of a country resources are well developed in japan as people are skilled and technically developed potential resources are those whose utility is not known at present or those which are not used despite having utility they may be useful at some time in future actual resources are those which have been thoroughly surveyed and their quantities are ascertained actual resources are those which have been thoroughly surveyed and their quantities are ascertained resources should be utilized judiciously so that after fulfilling our present requirements they are also preserved for the future generations there is a necessity to maintain proper balance between population and utilization of resources they should be used judiciously otherwise mankind will have to face dire consequences we can contribute to sustainable development by recycling things and using them again by switching off length when not needed and in many more ways words that matter there is a necessity to maintain proper balance between population and utilization of resources they should be used judiciously otherwise mankind will have to face dire consequences we can contribute to sustainable development by recycling things and using them again by switching off length when not needed and in many more ways textbook exercise questions a tick the correct option 1 the future generations will depend on solar energy because it is a biotic b man made c inexhaustible d non renewable answer inexhaustible to which one of the following resources can be recycled a gold b coal c land d natural gas answer gold 3 all the abiotic resources include a living beings b non living things c inexhaustible resources d renewable resources answer non living things 4 available resources which are not being tapped fully for the time being are called a actual resources b man made resources c biotic resources d potential resources answer potential resources 5 which one does not promote conservation of resources 
a. Use resources more efficiently. b. Optimum utilization of resources. c. Use as much resources as required. d. Reduce wastage of resources. Answer. Use as much resources as required. b. Fill in the blanks. 1. Metal can be used again and again after processing. 2. On the basis of occurrence, resources are classified into two categories natural and man-made. 3. With advancement of technology availability of capital and skilled labor are necessary for resource utilization. 4. Developed countries are economically self-sufficient and technically advanced. 5. The potential resources need a detailed survey for estimating their quantity and quality. C. Write a technical term or an appropriate word for each of the following statements. 1. Any material which is used to satisfy human needs. Resources. 2. Resources which cannot be renewed. Non-renewable resource. 3. Resources which are created by human beings. Man-made. 4. The resource which are surveyed and developed. Actual resource. 5. Sustainable and optimum utilization of resources. Sustainable development. Now, answer these questions in brief. 1. Utility and value of a resource vary from time to time and place. Give any three examples to support the statement. Answer. Utility and value of a resource varies from time to time and place to place, for example. A. Earlier human civilizations flourished along the river valleys as they used water for irrigating fields. B. Now, human beings are using water for generating energy, irrigation, navigation and industries, etc. See China and United States of America, USA are generating more wind energy than India. 2. Why are human beings considered the most important resource for development? Answer. Human beings are important because of the following reasons. A. Human beings have an intelligent mind which can make best use of nature to create more resources. b. Had humans not been there, different substances would not have been resources. c. Their utility can be only realized by human beings. 3. Differentiate between biotic and abiotic resources. Give examples for each. Answer. a. Biotic resources. The resources are obtained from biosphere and have life. For example, birds, animals etc. b. Abiotic resources. These resources are non-living. For example, land, minerals etc. 4. Why is there a need for a resource planning? Give any three reasons. Answer. There is a need for resource planning because a. Resources are rapidly depleting. b. Human beings have always used resources to satisfy their wants. Overuse of many valuable resources have led to their degradation or deterioration in quality. C. Due to deforestation, many plant and animal species have become endangered and are on the verge of becoming extinct. F so now answer these questions. These are long answer type questions. 1. Human needs and wants are neither uniform in all parts of the world nor static over the year. Explain the statement by giving suitable examples. Answer. 1. It is a fact that human needs and wants are neither uniform in all parts of the world nor static over the years. They generally grow and become complete with the process of change in the society. 2. In ancient times, emphasis was mainly given on satisfying the basic needs, such as food, clothing and shelter which were derived from the natural environment. 3. In advanced societies, greater emphasis has been given to utilization of resources for satisfying the multifarious needs of human beings. 2. Distinguish between renewable and non-renewable resources. Which one of the two would you prefer to use and why? Answer. 1. Resources which can be renewed either naturally or by human efforts are called renewable resources. Resources which take a longer period of time, millions of years, to be renewed are called non-renewable resources. 2. Renewable resources are also called inexhaustible resources. 3. The quality of renewable resources can be affected by improper usage. Non-renewable resources are limited on the Earth's surface and their complete utilization would result in their exhaustion. 
We would prefer renewable resources because some of the renewable resources are always available. 3. What is meant by sustainable development? Why is sustainable development the need of the hour? Answer. Sustainable development means development that takes place without damaging the environment. It is the need of the hour, because of our resources are limited in their supply. Overuse of many valuable resources has led to their degradation or deterioration in quality, for example, soil, land and water resources. Therefore, resources should be utilized judiciously so that after fulfilling our present requirement, they are also conserved for the future generations. 4. Describe the various bases of classification of resources with the help of examples. Answer of this question is already discussed in the explanation of the lesson. So go for that. Value-based questions. 1. Technological advancement is a boon as well as a bane to human civilization. Give one example each to support the statement. Answer. Technological advancement is a boon as well as a bane to human civilization. For example, fossil fuels are needed to provide heat, lighting and power to run vehicles, industries, various gadgets, etc. But at present, they are depleting at a fast rate. Fossil fuels are exhaustible resources. Once consumed they cannot be replaced soon enough. Coal and petroleum reserves have been dwindling all over the world. Today, entire world is facing with an energy crisis. 2. Highlight any two advantages of sustainable lifestyle. Answer. A. The usage of renewable resources is sustainable. B. The diversity of life on the earth has maintained. C. Proper balance between population and utilization of resources is maintained. D. The resources are used more efficiently in order to reduce wastage. 3. As a young Indian how can you contribute in reversing the adverse impact of human interference on environment? Answer. As a young Indian, it is our duty to ensure that a. All uses of renewable resources should be sustained. b. The diversity of life on earth should be conserved. c. The population and distribution of rare and threatened species should be increased. d. Damage to natural environment should be minimized. a. Recycling of reusable goods should be increased. f. Alternative resources used if made available. अगर आपने अभी तक मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब करें और अधिक से अधिक स्टूडेंट्स और टीचर्स को शेयर करें बेल आइकन को जरूर से प्रेस करें ताकि जैसे ही कोई नया एजुकेशनल वीडियो आए तो आपको नोटिफिकेशन मिल जाए थैंक यू